Hi everyone, my name is Miss Max. My name is Miss Tina. And we are here today to show you all how to do an activity at home with utilizing our parents' teacher curriculum. Our activity today will be called um, Family Traditions. And within our activity today, what we'll do is we'll create our own family traditions uh, scrapbook and we'll show you some materials that we'll use to create our scrapbook and then you guys will be able to make your own scrapbook with your children as well at home. So what we'll do for starters, Miss Tina and I have our own symbols, um, our own family photos and things that are very important to us and our families and we will create our scrapbooks and we will let you see our creations. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and get started. And then just in case you don't know who we are, I'm actually a family support specialist here for First Step Child Care Center. And then Ms. Max is, um, she has a dual role here as family support and health manager. So I just kind of started by thinking about some things that were important to me and my family. Um, we're pet lovers. Um, we take yearly trips um, as a family to different locations. Um, and I thought about some things that I wanted to pass down to them, some things that I wanted them to be able to look back to and remember. Um, so that's kind of a good place for you to start in terms of picking out things to create your scrapbook. And so now we're just getting started. And you guys can create your own and be very creative in your own special way. There's no right or wrong way to do it. You can use tape or glue, whatever your preference is. And this activity is more so, um, it's to kind of start conversations with you and your children, something that your children can look back at and say, oh, okay, this is why, you know, we do this in our family, or this is what's important to us in our family. And um, it creates that one-on-one -on -one, um, moment with you and your child. Right now, I'm just kind of sorting things out just to kind of see where I want to place them. And again, we are quiet getting our things on here as quickly as we can just to briefly show you guys an example of how to create your board. But this activity is really a communication um, project where you guys will be able to talk to each other. Yeah, just kind of get the family talking. You know, obviously, when the kids see some pictures, you know, they'll have memories and they'll want to kind of delve more into, you know, what, what took place. And, you know, they'll have questions as to when we can go back and reflect on memories about the fun that they had or what the picture means to them. So definitely a conversation starter. And then it's, you know, it's keepsake, so it's definitely something that can be in the family for some time. Absolutely, for the children to look back on and reflect. Right. Okay, we just kind of throwing some things together. You guys can um, put materials, um, like if you want to use markers and crayons to kind of make it shine more, you are more than welcome to do so. We uh, kind of got a lot of photos on ours, so we really don't have enough space to put any of our materials on there. Um, and, you know, we're just trying to briefly show you guys um, an example 
of how to do your activity. And then reusing construction paper, you can also use a poster board if you like. Or if you like, you can also use like the big, um, what is it? The, the trifold board, board yeah, to put your information on as well. And you can get really creative with this. I mean, when she mentioned the trifold board, you can sequence things and, you know, put like time stamps around it and just kind of date it. It's totally up to you and how you want it to be. So we're almost done here. We'll be able to share with you our pictures. Okay, I'm all done with mine. And again, we are quiet. This activity is not, I repeat again, it's not an activity for you to be silent. Um, this is an activity for you to talk with your child, like we said prior to um, earlier, um, you know, just to kind of get some things going and helping your child understand what's important in their family. Well, while Miss Tina's finishing up hers, I'm gonna go ahead and start discussing my poster board or my construction board. <laughs> um, okay, so I'll be really quick. I hope everyone can see my creation. So for starters, here's a photo of me and my children. Um, second oldest, myself, my oldest son, and my daughter. Um, I'm just gonna kinda go in order with some of the pictures I have on my board. So here I have a trick or treat um, little quote here which stands for a uh, celebrating um holidays i also have the merry christmas on here and the happy birthday um we do celebrate holidays um here i have skincare this is something that we um try to install within our family making sure that we um you know keep our skin you know as healthy as we can doing the best that we can as far as uh nourishing our our skin i also have a cross here um, this symbolizes a religion. We are um, Baptist um, and we do, uh, you know, go to church on a regular. Here, I have Kiss Me. Um, we are a loving family. Um, we show affection. It is very important to um, love each other and show each other that we care. Um, here is an Edna Better Health card. Um, health is important in my family. Um, you know, we try to make sure that we get our visits to the doctor regularly, um, dental care, also another one that's very important to our family and just, you know, getting our, our regular checkups with our health. Here I have a, this is, uh, an old, um, alarm for my car. Um, this symbolizes, um, security. Um, we try to make sure that we are strong and, you know, as far as the children in the household, we try to make sure that, um, the children have an understanding of having a sense of security within their life. Um, here I have a cell phone. This symbolizes communication. So I tell my children all the time it's important to communicate. If things are not going right, things are not going wrong, or things are going wrong, whatever. Um, we try to keep communication going within the home so that we understand what's going on and we can try to work things out together. Here I have a picture that says pet lover, cat and dog. We only have a cat in my home, but we do love dogs as well we also have many pets in our home and uh like i said we, we just love pets <laughs> um here is a picture of a television so this just symbolizes where we have family time we like to watch movies so we'll it'll be a friday or, or saturday sunday we pick a day um sometimes we'll have a movie night have popcorn treats like that and sit and watch a movie together 
Here I have some ribbon, which symbolizes um, being connected. So um, it's falling off. I'm sorry. I taped it on. Um, so being connected is another way of communicating again, um, making sure that we know what's going on with everyone in the household, being open to everyone and just, you know, making sure that we all have a clear understanding of what's what in the home. And then here at the bottom, I have a dessert quote. <laughs> um, it's a picture of dessert and a definition. So we love desserts in our home. Um, we usually make bake cookies, um, on a regular, not so much as cakes, but um, we do have uh, nights or on a regular, we'll do, um, we'll make desserts. But that's mine. I'm all complete. If you can see my board. And like I said, um, you guys can also put more um, detail into your um, activity when you guys create your own. Okay, well, that's really nice. I liked, I really liked her communication, um, the ribbon, symbolizing. Uh, family unity and sticking together um, the picture that she had the security those are really good things um, to have in a family unit so for mine um, I kind of went more towards just some things that I want the kids to be able to look back to um, and for us the family unit is very important um, we have a really close family so that's really important um, in my home as well as my extended family um, this is a picture of a family having dinner together. This is something that we try to do at least twice a week. It's kind of hard to do it every night with busy schedules. Um, but we do try to sit around the table and have family as a, uh, as a, have dinner as a family. Um, just to kind of discuss our day and see, you know, what's going on with everyone in school and work. So that's very important to us. Um, here you see some pets. So we have a pet that looks almost identical to this. This is Grady. He's been in the family for about eight or nine years or so. Um, we recently added to give Grady a friend who looks very similar to this black cat here. Um, his name is Noah. We have a pet turtle or tortoise. It's a Russian tortoise. His name is Curtis. Looks about identical. My daughter's hamster, Ava. My son's um, guinea, what is this? Uh, Bearded Dragon, mm -hmm. <laughs> and his name is, uh, what is his name? I can't think of it, Jordan. Yes. So we have Jordan here, and then I have some hearts because I love my family so much. There's so much to me. I, want, I put hearts all over it because I want them to be sure to remember, you know, of the love that they felt, you know, coming up and what we had in our home. Um, I have a few trips here to remind them of our trip to Walt Disney World. Um, Kalahari Resorts, Great Wolf Lodge, just a few things that I wanted, and then also prayer. Like, that's very important in my family. I want to make sure that in communicating, they're also communicating to God in prayer because um, we do believe in God, and I want to make sure that they have that structure and they can always fall back to that um, no matter what's going on in their life. So this is my scrapbook for my family, and I'll give you a close-up of that. And again, you can feel free to do whatever and include whatever you'd like on yours. Mm -hmm. um, did you have anything else and you wanted to add? FYI, we're sisters. So, we are sisters. So um, she was able to help me with some of the names <laughs> of the pets. I couldn't recall off the top of my and, head. And FYI, the trip that she took over to Great Wolf Lodge, mm -hmm. this is the photo that my children took there. <laughs> that is true. So um, <laughs> we she, all went as a family. Yes. Yeah, so as she stated, we are a really close family. We are. Um, a lot of the activities that we both have on our boards, we we usually um, most of the time do them. and do together. Yeah. As an extended family. Yeah, that's true. Um, you know, we do have our immediate families where she has her own children. I have my own, and we do things outside of each other's um, company, but. We definitely share some of the same um, interests, right. you know, as a whole, as a family with religion, um, the pet lover, and um, communicating is yes. really important. Yes, too. We, our, we do. Our children are more like brother and sister than cousins. Mm -hmm. So yes. communication, family, those are very big. Very, very important. So, and this is it, guys. Yes. I hope this was fun. Um, we didn't really do a lot of talking to. 
with one another. For um, time's sake. Yeah, just want to kind of to briefly put our things together just to give you guys an idea of how to put it together. Like I stated, you don't have to use the boards that we chose. We use construction paper. Mm -hmm. You're more than welcome to use poster board, mm -hmm. trifold, whatever you have at home. Be mm -hmm. creative. Absolutely. Um, you can add whatever you want to it to make it look nice. Um, glitter. Um, if you want to paint, handprints, whatever you want to do to make it fun. Right. The most important thing is just getting it done and communicating and just really having those conversations about what it is that you're putting yes. on the scrapbook. Yes. Th that's our goal. Our goal is for our parents, you moms and dads, to help our children understand the role or what's important to the family and to kind of have them to look at some things to reflect on in life and understand what's important for them as they become to be, you know, get older and become adults on their own. So, um, this is ours, me and Miss Tina's. Um, we it's would like, fun. yes, look forward to a lot more of these. Uh, we'll be doing these yes. on a monthly basis. On a monthly basis, same, same, same date. Yep. So absolutely check in with us on a monthly basis. Get busy, get active at home, get those conversations started mm -hmm. and then share those with us yes. so that we can go ahead and post them up. And then just follow up with you to see exactly how things went for you mm -hmm. um, and how it's just aiding in conversations at home. And also, if you guys need any materials, please reach out to us again, Miss Tina, FSS, Miss Max. You can call the center. Let us know if you need materials, scissors, glue, whatever you may need. We'll try our best to give you guys any materials that we have here on site Absolutely. so that you guys can make your boards and get those done for us okay we hope you enjoyed it all right bye everyone bye. we're looking forward to seeing your activities okay have a good one bye